fine afternoon for the International at Wembley. In fact, it turned out too hot for the visitors. Mexico kicked off against the white-shirted English 11, who took the initiative at once. Before anyone could say caramba, a beautiful centre from England's left wing was netted by Hitchin. A quick goal in his first international, and ten minutes later, a Hitchin's pass was banged in by Charlton. England, eager to take revenge for defeat in 1959, kept up the bombardment. After half an hour, Robson had put them three up. The Mexicans were left standing. They could do nothing about it. And just before half-time, a neat pass to Douglas, and it was 4-0. No one was depressed down Mexico way. Half-time was just a siesta con musica. Oh, yes, this lot were having a fine time. The Mexicans on the field, however, thought it was time for a goal, and they nearly got one. Soon after this, a penalty taken by Flowers looked just too easy. England spent most of the match on the threshold of another goal. Their sixth was Charlton's second. Good work by Armfield and Robson was the foundation for their next. It was Douglas who passed to Charlton for his third. Thinking perhaps that Golimoto was having all the fun, the Mexican forwards now took up the story. Their gallant efforts, however, were not rewarded. And England hadn't quite finished. Their eighth goal, coming from a left-wing centre, was another for Douglas. <laughs> 